Welcome to Describe in One Word. I'm Daniela, and I would describe slime in one word as squishy. You all have been requesting slime from me for forever, so here it is. I'm gonna test out three different types of edible slime, and as a bonus, I'm gonna show you how to make a slime-filled stress ball and a container for your slime that looks like an emoji. All the materials are in the description below, but for every slime I make today, I use Metamucil, well, the generic brand of Metamucil. Just make sure it's made of psyllium. You'll use one tablespoon of this for one cup of liquid. For my edible galaxy slime, I use Sprite for the liquid. When using soda, let the bubbles settle or your cups and bowls will overflow. Put it in the microwave on 30 second increments until it starts to boil and thicken. My cat took this time to walk through the shot. Stir after each increment until it's the consistency you'd like. Then add in your food coloring. I started out with blue and then ended up making a whole other batch and dyeing that one purple. I just accepted the fact that I'd be making a complete mess today, so I ended up just pouring it all out onto the table and mixing the two colors together. Of course you'll need some glitter, so add in different colors of edible glitter, and I also ended up adding some sprinkles for more texture. This Sprite slime turned out really cool looking, but also really liquidy, so be careful not to make a total mess like I did. My carpet is definitely a little blue right now. And once you're done playing with or eating your slime, you can make it into a color-changing galaxy stress ball by putting the slime into a water bottle and covering the top with a white balloon. Then turn the bottle over and squeeze all of the slime into the balloon. Again, this is super messy, so be careful removing the balloon and tying it off. After washing it off, it turns into a fun surprise stress ball. For my next slime I tested, I used Capri Sun. I made it using the same proportions of one cup to one tablespoon. While this one was microwaving, I made a fun container for it out of a fillable plastic ornament. I'm certainly no artist, but I used Sharpies to draw on an emoji face. And I may have cooked it longer, but this slime was way more stretchy than the Sprite slime, so it went into the container really easily. And for this one, well, for all of them, the Metamucil dyes the slime orange, but if you want more of a really bright yellow for the emoji face, just add yellow food coloring. For my last slime, I wanted to make a regular Coke slime, but all I had was Coke Zero. But that's okay, as this actually ended up being my favorite slime. It again may have just been that I cooked it the most, but either way, it was super stretchy and felt the most like regular slime and not just like slop. Let me know in the comments below which slime I tested was your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're not ready to go just yet, click on the videos for more DIYs.